Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Life with God or Carolina. Thank you guys so much for watching. And today I am going to be trying out the goodies that I got in my Ulta haul. If you guys have not seen my Ulta haul, I'll go ahead and link it in the description box below. I did not purchase any high-end items. All of these are drugstore items, so I'll go ahead and be putting that to the test. If you guys want to see if any of these goodies work out for me, please keep on watching. So... I'm going to go ahead and start with the sponge. I purchased the L'Oreal Blend Artist Infallible Foundation Sponge. I'm just going to go ahead and wet this and just see if it gets bigger and if it gets bouncier. It's pretty bouncy. It's not like really stiff or anything right now, like a little bit, but it's not bad like other sponges that I've tried. Okay, guys, so this is what the sponge looks like now. So I'm going to be using this, and I'm going to first prime my face. I also did purchase a primer from the drugstore. So I got the Milani Prime Shield Face Primer. This is the mattifying one. It's oil-free. I always use the Benefit Matte Rescue Primer, which I really like that one. But I wanted to try one out from the drugstore, so I decided to pick up the Milani one. And this one has 0.68 fluid ounces. Honestly, it doesn't really feel like there's much in here. It, do, it does feel like there is product in here, but not as much. Like, it doesn't feel like it's this filled up um but i still want to try and see how it is so this one says um it primes skin to create a smooth canvas for makeup mattifies and perfects skin minimizes the look of pores and fine lines lightweight non-greasy feel doesn't have a smell or anything so i'm going to put that all over my skin i've been breaking out a lot because i do go out of town as you can see, like I broke, been breaking out here, and then like on my forehead, it's like red. It does feel a little bit, it's tacky. I put my hand and my fingers on my face, like some dust come off. I'm just gonna go ahead and try out the foundation. I've already tried this foundation out before. It is the Wet Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I already have a video on this Wet Wild that I first tried, like a first impression, and also trying out the concealer. So if you're interested in that, I can go ahead and link that in the description box if you guys want to check that out. But I wanted to pick up another shade because I am pretty tan right now. This is the old one, and this is the new one that I just picked up. So I wanted to try it out. If it's too dark, I can go ahead and mix my old one so I can mix the golden beige with it. But let's just go ahead and put this on. I probably will mix a little bit of my golden beige one. I'm going to go ahead and use the L'Oreal sponge. So I did blend it out pretty nicely, but I feel like this sponge absorbed a lot of the foundation because I did put quite a bit on, and I thought I was going to be able to just like bring some of it to this side of my face. I can just go ahead and do it my whole face, but I feel like this soaked up so much of the product, and I don't feel like my Beauty Blender does that a lot. My Equal Tool Sponge doesn't really do that, um, but it did blend everything out really nicely, so I do like that. Normally, I don't like putting a lot of product foundation on my face, but I feel like I just had to do that because this was like soaking up so much. It's not a bad sponge or anything because it did, did blend out the product really nicely. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like it's soaking up so much of my foundation. My Equal Tools sponge doesn't do that. So right now I'm liking that one more than this one. But I'm going to try out concealer with this part and just see how that goes. Oh yeah, it is blending it out. I just feel like 
it's soaking up a lot of the foundation. This is not a bad sponge. It just feel like it's soaked up a lot of the product that I put on my face. So let me go ahead and do um, some of my other makeup off camera and I'll be back to test out the other products that I purchased. The next thing that I have is a blush. So I did get a Milani Baked Blush. This one is in the color Bella Bellini. I have used uh, Milani Baked Blushes before. Um, these were like one of my first blushes that I tried at the drugstore and they are so good. They have such amazing colors. Ooh, that's so pretty. I don't know if you guys could see it on camera. It kind of gives you like a highlighted effect. It looks really pretty. It's giving me a little bit of a glow, but I do have a Wet n Wild highlighter that I purchased. I've been wanting to try these highlighters out for so long. I'm hoping this looks beautiful. You guys can see it like right there. Oh my god, that looks so pretty. This one is such a beautiful color. This is the Golden Flower Crown. The formula feels really smooth and creamy. Like it doesn't feel stiff or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and try out the mascara. So I purchased the Essence Volume Stylus 18 Hour Lash and lash extension mascara so i wanted to try this out because again i saw it on casey holmes youtube that she mentioned this mascara how she really liked it i love trying out mascaras that will make my lashes look really big and voluminous so this is what it looks like with one coat i have it on this eye right here i don't know if you guys can see it does look pretty. I'm going to go ahead and do this eye and then just go back for a second coat on this eye. And this is my other eye with the mascara. That's two coats with the mascara. I actually really like it. It's giving my eyelashes a lot of volume. It doesn't look like really clumpy or anything, so I really like that. I probably won't do a third coat because I feel like it can get clumpy. Um, i probably just leave it at two coats, and I also want to try them on my bottom lashes, but before I do that, I want to try out this nude eyeliner that I got, also by Essence. So I love using a nude pencil on my waterline now. I haven't used black on my waterline in so long. I feel like I like this one way more than the Rimmel one. Like, I feel like this one's really creamy. And it's really pigmented. Yeah, I definitely like this one way more than the Rimmel one. This one feels so creamy on my eyes and it actually stands out on my waterline way more than the Rimmel one. So the last thing that I have to try out is this LA Girl Ultimate Lip Pencil that I got. It's a retractable one. It's not one that you have to sharpen or anything. And this one is in the color Keep It Spicy. This is really smooth and creamy on my lips. So this is a color that looks really pretty on my lips. I actually really like it. I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu in the color Give Me Mocha. Okay guys, so this is going to be the final look using all the products that I purchased off of Ulta's website. I did really like a lot of the products that I purchased. I'll go ahead and list in the description box all the goodies that I used on my face and prices and everything and link everything if you guys are interested in any of these items. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for more videos to come. And also keep an eye out because I might be doing a little holiday giveaway just because of the holidays. So just keep an eye out on that. I might be doing that soon maybe in the next couple of weeks i just have to get everything together and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video bye